over the space of just a few days, I met the creator of Wallace and Gromit, flew to Spain, and went to a landmark that was so sci-fi, it was used as a shooting location for both Doctor Who and Bill and Ted. Let's just say it was an interesting week. So this Valencia vlog was originally going to be entirely in Spanish. I recorded some bits like that. Necesito empacar por un viaje. Didn't go so well. What I'll probably do is give you a little bit of a sense of how my Spanish is when I get to the end of the week. Because beginning of the week, oh, oh dear, oh no. ¿Cuál es la palabra por el día, la, el día antes, no, después, el día después de mañana? Yikes. I'm aware of the fact that I look kind of stupid. But it's not nearly as stupid as I was expecting. I am going to a party tonight that's a themed party. And the theme is poets. So I'm going as a kind of like beatnik adjacent poet with my turtleneck and my sunglasses and my jacket. And I don't hate the look as much as I want to. The, the idea was I would make it look as stupid as possible. Honestly, this is just shit that I wear. Like, I, like should I feel proud of myself? Should I feel self-loathing? I, I, who can tell? Who can tell? At this party, there is a very real chance that I might get to meet Nick Park. He of creator of Wallace and Gromit fame. I'll let you know how that goes. Unexpected. Just hanging out with a bunch of like proper adults, like old people. <laughs> that feels mean. Um, but it was really nice. I did get to have a brief conversation with Nick Park, which was nice. I got to say thank you for Wallace and Gromit. That was a good time. The uh, former mayor of Bristol was there, so that was interesting. Yeah, lots of just hanging out with cool people. There were also a bunch of people who were roughly my age there as well. So I got a I got a chat with them and talk to someone in Spanish mostly because she also spoke Spanish uh, better than I do. I didn't feel like I was too far out of my depth. That's my night before heading to Valencia tomorrow. It's really nice. Not a big fan of the light, which is just a bulb in the ceiling and gives this like really harsh, even light across the whole room. But generally speaking, it's wonderful room, wonderful accommodation. I did realize I didn't actually say I'm going to Spain to learn Spanish for a week, intensive course, but I've discovered that some of the other people here who also live in this accommodation very briefly met them. And some of them are here for three months which is madness. And I'm deeply jealous because it would just be so absolutely brilliant to learn to speak Spanish for three months and live in this like cool apartment. I, like I'll have to show you around in the morning when it's a bit lighter because it's, it's, it's just a bit, it's just a bit bloody brilliant. Ah, there is a shelf up here where I can put that there and you're looking slightly down on me. So I think this might be the vlogging angle for the future. It's 11 o'clock, so I'm being quiet because I don't want to annoy everyone. But I think I'm gonna have a quick, quick shower because I feel a little bit post-travel groggy. And I'm gonna get to bed. 
to explore the city tomorrow. There's a bedside light, which is vastly superior to the main overhead one. So much better. So much better. I had a really nice day. I went for a little bit of a wander around town. Firstly, with my mother, who is here in Spain as well. And then by myself, I got to see the old city. I got another Starbucks. There is just something nice about something familiar when you're in such a foreign place to you and everything's a little bit different and scary. It's it's nice to have a familiar place that you can go. Saw lots of cool things. My knee has started hurting a little bit. I've had some problems with it for the last few months. So here's hoping that doesn't become a problem across the week. Other than that, I'm just feeling good. I'm having a good time. Met one of the other people in the accommodation. Uh, her name was Julia. She's very nice. Now I need to work out what I'm going to do for dinner. So, we'll see how that goes. So, I'm currently in what used to be the old river that ran through this city. But they dammed it off and built a park here. And it's good to be amongst green things. I had my first day of Spanish learning this morning and it was really good. Generally speaking it's been a really good day but um, mental health is a funny thing to talk about. A lot of people can relate to depression and anxiety and stuff like that. Some stuff is just like it's just for the therapist you know. I just wanted to be honest about the fact that not everything is perfect. <laughs> yeah I've had a good day generally. There was a blip in the middle um, that made things hard for me. And I don't want to be more specific than that, and I don't have to be. I want to make videos like this, but I don't want to share more than I want to share. My god, the trees here are beautiful. I'm just walking between palm trees, there's orange trees over there, it, it's so beautiful. I think I'm going to find somewhere I can sit and draw for a little bit. There's something wonderful about this because um, I think a lot about how humans destroy natural spaces and the way that things naturally are in order to create spaces that are hostile to humans for the sake of, you know, profit or furthering a national interest or something like that. But, I don't know, here, they diverted the river and they built a garden. And there is something wonderfully beautiful about that. I think sometimes I am my own worst enemy because I get bored so easily. I'm always wanting to learn new things, like have new experiences. And I've really been enjoying filming everything and making this video. And I'm like halfway through making this Valencia vlog. I'm less than halfway through making this Valencia vlog and I'm already like, what's next? What, what's the next thing I'm going to be doing? I think this is why I tried to make videos like Mike Shake once, where I would like learn skills in a short period of time. The only problem is I got bored of making those kinds of videos after I'd made only one of them. I hadn't even made one of them. I was 
halfway through making two videos like that and I got bored of them. Is it a problem? Maybe I just need to find a way to work with it. Change direction all the time. And you know, I don't get bored of everything. Still want to make films. Still want to learn Spanish. Those are good. It's just a balancing act, really, isn't it? Just don't know how to do the balancing act. I am just going to bed, but it needed to be said that tonight is the night that I am deliberately letting my Duolingo streak run out. It's like 420 something days and I'm gonna let it run out so that I can start again when I get back from my week in Spain. Feels weird, but I wanna do it. I wanna, I wanna break free of these like habits that I've made for myself. The streak is there to serve me. I am not there to serve the streak. It's weird, it's weird. But I'm doing it.